For Dr. Lucas Wartman, researching the genetic causes of leukemia is a personal mission. While attending the Washington University School of Medicine, he was diagnosed with the disease. I was on some elective time during my fourth year and started feeling poorly myself and shortly thereafter was diagnosed with acute lymphocytic leukemia. So I was uh, treated for a, a total of two years with chemotherapy and uh, thought to be cured of the leukemia. After being treated for leukemia, Worman continued his medical training as a resident at Washington University with the goal of treating patients with leukemia. There wasn't really any question in my mind after my diagnosis what I would end up doing with my life and, and so it was easy to uh, stay motivated to complete residency and move on to, to fellowship and completed my first year of, of clinical fellowship and unfortunately towards the end of that year I again uh, began feeling poorly and, and was diagnosed with relapsed leukemia. So was treated again with uh, strong chemotherapy that luckily put my uh, leukemia back into uh, remission and was lucky enough to uh, get a bone marrow transplant from my younger brother and now have been in remission for the past three years uh, from uh, for my leukemia. Having new motivation, Dr. Wortman approached Dr. Timothy Lay about joining his lab to research leukemia. He came to me when he was doing his clinical fellowship, actually before he relapsed with uh, his own leukemia. And uh, we talked about uh, possible projects and we talked about the work that we've been doing for the last several years in uh, sequencing leukemia genomes, and human leukemia genomes, and he knew that uh, what we were doing you know, would have an, an enormous impact on patients with leukemia because we're getting the genetic rules for these diseases for the first time, and we think it'll lead to new understanding of the disease, how to treat it, uh, how to classify patients when they come in. So he knew he wanted to be involved in that process, so I was uh, thrilled when he came to talk to me about doing his is uh, basic science training as a fellow uh, in the lab. I think that uh, his own experience with leukemia, of course, has served as a major motivation for wanting to get the answers. He has a passion unmatched by anybody that's ever worked in my lab for understanding the, the biology of leukemia and for rapidly taking results from what we find in the laboratory back to the clinic. He's had an impact not only on the, the work that he's done personally, but I think he serves as a constant reminder to all of us in the lab that we're doing this for the patients. Uh, we want to take our findings uh, back to the clinic as soon as we can. This is not a, just an intellectual exercise. It really affects patients' lives if we do it correctly. And I think he's also reminded us that uh, you, know, you need to live every day as one be a little more thankful for, for each day that you have. Um, he is, I mean, he, I think his experiences, his personal experiences with this make him uh, appreciate each day a little bit more. And it reminds everybody that's around him, you know, to be thankful for what we have. 